Good day you absolute legends, in today's video we have more update news. Now we have a massive bug fix inbound for Norman Sky, there is a lot to cover with that. Also exciting news, Xbox gets the orbital update, finally. Now I did post a video yesterday with how Xbox users were very unhappy and I kid you not, within about 10 minutes of me posting that video, Xbox releases the update, but there you go, you live and learn, eh? love life and all that. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, before we do get into that today, I just want to say a massive thank you as always, and I really, really do appreciate it, everybody that has been double checking and resubscribing to the channel. As we know, there is an ongoing problem where YouTube will unsubscribe you, the viewer, from your favorite YouTubers without your knowledge or consent. So as always, please, please, please just double check for me that you are still subscribe to the channel if you need to resubscribe then please do resubscribe but if you have been watching me for a while you like what i do here then why not consider hitting that subscribe button also please remember to leave a like on this very video it really does help out the video reach further into the great youtube wonder and everybody can then take full advantage of the information presented and with all these bug fixes it's going to be an important video today so a lot of people do need to know about it. Anyway, let's get into today's video. So as usual, I've got my inventory absolutely chocked full of every single build part for the new ship customization that you can get in the game. And I'm just going to be giving it away to random interlopers inside of the anomaly while we do talk about today's topics. So first of all, let's talk about Xbox Gets Orbital. So finally, 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 the Xbox community, and I believe it's also live on the Game Pass as well, whether you play it on the Xbox side or whether or not you play it on the PC side, Xbox has now finally got the update so everybody can now enjoy orbital now this is amazing news and again it's such a shame that everyone's had to wait for it but nonetheless it is fixed now so we can all be on the same page together now for our next topic today we're going to talk about how mr murray has gone ahead and posted something quite tasty over on his twitter page so you can see this right here now as we can see new experimental build push to pc with a bunch of fixes and improvements now just remember it is only going to experimental build right now on pc but every single one of these fixes will be getting pushed to public very very soon once testing as complete it will usually take anywhere upwards to about a week and then everybody on console then should have these fixes as well so this is what you can expect so as we can see ladies and gentlemen experimental branch the first of the four so it goes on to say fix an issue that could cause the ship communicator hologram to display the incorrect life form when communicating with a frigate commander fixed an issue that could cause some non geck frigates to address the player as captain friend well, I mean, Captain Friend isn't that bad, but there we go. That's been fixed anyway. Fixed an issue that could cause the fleet command station to fabricate a captain name for organic frigates. Fixed an issue that could prevent frigate commander holograms from appearing when a fleet sought the player's assistance via a fleet command station. Fixed an interface overlap when using the Starship Fabricator in ultra-wide aspect ratios. So anybody on PC or anybody uses a monitor as well for console, if you use an ultra-wide monitor, that basically should fix the problems that you have been experiencing. Improved the visual effect on civilian ship weaponry when they warp into assist in space combat against pirates. Fix the number of issues that could cause frigate expedition intervention missions involving translation to interact with each other if more than one translation mission was active simultaneously. Fix an issue that could cause asteroid fields near the player capital ship to flicker. I've noticed that when I have been going into deep space when I've been trying to post to the sun previously. So I'll have to retest that in a later video and see if anything's changed on that. But apparently it is now fixed. 
organic frigates on expeditions will no longer attempt to contact the player with reports about their non-existent crew. That's quite funny. Fix an issue that caused frigates on expeditions to try and call the player for help when the game wasn't running. How does that even work? How can... What, they just like tap into your PC or something or onto your console dashboard and go, look, I know the game ain't running right now, but jump back onto No Man's Sky because we have a problem here. How does that even work? But apparently that's fixed. That's that's good, I guess. Now, we do have a small one here, various text fixes. So various texts have been fixed. Frigate commanders now delegate freighter liaison duties to the first lieutenant. I didn't even know we even had a first lieutenant, but apparently we have one and now he's going to get more duties. Fantastic. Added a number of new dialogue possibilities to a frigate expedition intervention event involving irresistible smelling fruit. Okay, that's very specific. Fixed an issue that prevented portal addresses from being displayed in the Wonders catalog in French. Optimized the loading of freighter bases to prevent an issue where the base would disappear and reappear when first loading into the game. Added a number of new alien words to learn and translate. Added a number of new alien language messages to translate for frigate expedition intervention missions. Fixed a crash related to terrain editing and fixed a crash by Sentinel owned ships getting added to the player's collection. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was a lot of fixes that are going to be coming to every platform, consoles, you name it. Now, a lot of that seems to be doing with like the frigates and the commanders. There seems to be a lot of issues that was obviously previously updated with Orbital. But whatever these issues have been, and we do have a long list of them, these are now being solved. So if you do have any of these issues, they will be getting fixed and they will be getting pushed to your platform very, very soon. So again, a very big congratulations to the team for squishing these bugs. Now, as always, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you happy that finally, if you are part of the Xbox community or the Game Pass community, who has been affected so far by the Orbital update, how it wasn't? for available for you and then all of a sudden now it is are you happy that you've got it does it live up to your expectation is it everything that you wanted or do you not like it let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below and also let me know in the comment section if any of these fixes that have inbound today is there anything that's been affecting you on your gameplay? Is it something that you've actually noticed and reported? Again, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is everything from me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.